Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a real banger of a video for you. The yeah, Gun Leshy Shocker. It's a rare occurrence these days. Many men have tried, many men have failed. But on this night, the stars aligned, and I was able to put two in the pink ears of a rabbit and one into the stinkiest of them all. The one that you want to keep brown eye down, the skunk. This rabbit rolled in, and it was actually my first double tap with the Leshy 2 on film. Even though a soft kiss will make the rabbit do a little death wiggle, I shot another 22 cal load into it for good measure. That's two, well, technically three in the pink. Now, onto the stink. This is where things usually fall apart in a Leshy 2 shocker. The trick is patience and timing, as you need to slip one in totally undetected. They'll usually walk off like this, thinking uh, they got pinched or something. Uh, but be patient though, and don't drop another into it as it's sure to stress it out, and stress equals the release of old Braun Eye himself, and man, oh man, does that stink. Here's one last look at a perfectly executed Leshy 2 Shocker. Two in the pink, and one in the stink. Hey Gun Leshy presents. What you looking at, Piper? What you looking at? What's out there? What's out there? Ah, I see him. As you may have guessed, today's video is dedicated to the rabbit, with a little sprinkle of some skunks. Uh, with the garden in full bloom, I have to be on constant lookout for these guys. Uh, I get a few hanging out under the table for one, grabbing some leftovers that fell, just like this guy here. Oh, just missed that double tap, but that first one anchored it. Rabbits are by far the least tough critter in the yard. Their own shadow and a little breeze could probably scare them to death. Uh, I get a few here, but for the most part, I'm catching them in the act, just like this guy, munching on my neighbor's bush. I mean, yeah, that'd be gross. She's 90. But, yeah, plants. For rabbits, I try to hit on a line between their eye and the ear. That's the instant off switch on guys like this. And because of, uh, man, the footage is just so clear on this one. If you get the settings right on the ATN 4K Pro, it's perfect like this. Speaking of perfect, the glass on this March 45 by 28 is just absolutely stunning. You guys know how much I love this scope. Uh, it's going to allow me to illustrate the shot placement and the net result. I mean, look at that. Man, the energy dump was nuts. Continuing on with our shot placement talk. Now, on the skunk. Uh, while there are tons of opinions out there, it's been my experience that the best possible place to shoot a skunk for a quick and humane kill, but with zero or little spray, is to heart punch it. Uh, the heart and the lungs, so the vital kind of package there, sit a little bit lower in a skunk than your typical animal. So you want to tuck one in just behind the armpit and slightly lower than normal. So remember, I'm typically kind of shooting from an elevated position, so I aim slightly high, knowing that the path will kind of go downwards into the vitals. I was almost too far forward on this one, but that last step it made uh, forward just allowed me to crack one off and kind of tuck it in there. Like most vital shots, the animal will run off just a few steps uh, and then collapse, and that's exactly what happened here. So Olight just sent me this really cool light to check out that they just released called the Valkyrie Turbo, which is an appropriate name, and I'll show you why here in just a second. Uh, while its primary purpose is a self-defense pistol light, I thought it would actually work pretty well on the Leshy too. So let's drop it on. This version of the light is an LEP, which is actually classified as a laser, I believe. Uh, the purpose of an LEP is to have a high intensity light in a very narrow beam. So I'm running it here at 10 yards uh, through the March Shorty 1, the 10X LPVO. Greatest LPVO ever, by the way. Uh, this thing is turning night to day. Uh, and within strobe mode, you will 100% uh, be gaining a tactical advantage in a self-defense scenario. But with the Leshy 2, uh, I was super curious if I could run it uh, and film through it with the March Shorty. Up in the air, this thing looks like a lightsaber with a throw of 
530 meters. So while I'm not running the SG2 in a self-defense tool, and honestly, that's a pretty far throw <laughs> for a self-defense tool, but the light beam will be very interesting to try on some predator hunting. So the guys over at Night Crew have well documented white lights won't spook predators when you're using a call. So if you haven't checked out that channel, by the way, highly recommend. So uh, I think I'll give it a go uh, the next opportunity that presents itself. So I'll throw a link at the top of the description if you guys want to snag one of these while they're still available. Uh, make sure to use the promo code EDGUN, E-D-G-U-N, for 10% off on any non-sale items. It's a great light, guys, and you're also helping the channel uh, by using that code as well. So I took a little break from editing this particular video and I drove up to the farm uh, with my son to get some outdoor time along with some long range testing of the new NSA 254 33 grain bullet from Nielsen Specialty Ammo. So I always like to do some long range verification before I kind of go all in and recommend something for you guys. Uh, in addition to the backyard critter smashing. So yeah, this thing passed with flying colors. Hands down, the most accurate ammo I have ever shot out of the Leshy 2. So I'll throw a link in the description if you're an L2 owner and you want to check them out. Additionally, I was up there to figure out the gun I wanted to run for a fun course uh, and how do I describe this course that we're doing? It's like a long range bench mixed in with some PRS-ish style shooting uh, with a little running and gunning on some steel. So whatever you want to call that, we'll figure out a name. Uh, one thing for sure, my fat ass needs to get in shape because that was brutal. But I had a blast kind of testing and figuring out each station, and I really look forward to showing you guys something a little bit different on this channel. Some fun target shooting uh, with my choice of gun here, which is the short 250 millimeter Leshy 2 Hornet with the March Optics shorty on top, and of course, shooting the NSA uh, 303 47 grainers. They were perfect. All right, so back to the rabbits. Here's a 7.62 millimeter Leshy 2 Hornet. Uh, I had to tuck this one through the trees a little bit here, so it was a little low. Uh, but the margin of error on this big of a round on a rabbit is pretty big. So this was a no brainer, literally. Here's one for you 177 fans. Uh, I don't shoot this caliber often, but when I do, it's probably on a rabbit or a, or a rat. I'll bring them out every once in a while. So here I'm using the Thor 4 384 unit and the Binox 4K in night vision mode, both from ATN. That shot just anchored it. And the last little kind of twitch of the nerves here in the form of a stretch, uh, but that was lights out. Uh, ATN also sent me their Thor 4 640 unit just the other day. Uh, which is a 4 to 40x, which is crazy. Uh, and whoa, is this thing clear? And I've been filming a bunch with it, uh, just shooting rads and kind of chipmunks and stuff. And I'll have some more thoughts in an upcoming Backyard Bullies video. But it's been pretty awesome so far, and the clarity and contrast are great. I mean, it almost looks like night vision here. All right, back to the rabbits and skunks. I've got a few more for you guys, and we'll start with this ear hole and the old Dirty 30. Quite often they'll jump like that. And look at this one. This guy does a full back flip into a dirt nap dismount. It wouldn't be a rabbit video without me showing my favorite rabbit shot of all time, right between the eyes. For some reason, I've shown this a few times, uh, it makes a couple of you mental that I keep showing it. But you know what? We're deep into this video. And I assume if you got this far, you're a big fan of the channel and you don't mind seeing my favorite shot of all time on a rabbit, at least. This next one was all camoed up here pretty good, but I was able to sneak one into the bread basket just like a headshot, instant dirt nap.
All right, so last one. We're gonna wrap up this video with this perfect heart punch on a skunk. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to Olight for sponsoring today's video.